You now say this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear powered? Why are you saying that? 10 gigawatts of power. That's the energy signature coming from the mysterious object 3i Atlas. And it shouldn't be possible. This interstellar traveler was supposed to be a simple comet, a dirty snowball reflecting the sun's rays. But the latest high resolution images show something else entirely. Instead of a classic tail, it has a strange glowing cocoon facing towards the sun. Its light profile is too steep, it's fading too abrupt. According to Harvard's Avi Loeb, we are not looking at nature. We're looking at an object that appears to have an engine and it's flying a very deliberate path through our celestial backyard. 10 gigawatts of mystery. Something truly bizarre is flying through our solar system. On July 1st, 2025, an automated telescope system called ATLAS, short for Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, pinged an alert. It had spotted our third ever interstellar visitor, an object from another star system, and it was given the designation 3I Atlas. At first, the world of astronomy breathed a collective sigh of relief. Unlike the weird cigar-shaped Oumuamua, this one looked like a regular comet. It had a fuzzy glow around it, a coma, which is exactly what you'd expect from a giant ball of ice and dust getting closer to the sun. The ice warms up, turns to gas, and creates a beautiful halo. Case closed, right? Wrong. The thing nobody tells you is, the more we looked, the less sense it made. Many people are crazy about space, but even for seasoned astronomers, what came next was a shocker. When the Hubble Space Telescope took a closer look, the images showed something that shouldn't be possible. Comets have tails that are pushed away from the sun by solar wind and radiation pressure. But 3i Atlas didn't have a classic tail. Instead, it had a weirdly teardrop-shaped cocoon of dust that was elongated towards the sun. It was like seeing the smoke from a campfire blowing into the fire. This was the first major red flag. But then came the light itself. Avi Loeb, the former chair of Harvard's astronomy department, and his colleague took a deep dive into the numbers, analyzing the brightness profile of this strange glow. What they found was jaw-dropping. The light from the coma faded incredibly steeply, much faster than the light from any known comet. You see, but not all things are what they seem. Loeb realized this steep light curve pointed to one unbelievable conclusion. The sun wasn't the primary source of illumination. The object was lighting up the dust cloud from within. It was generating its own light, and the amount of power required was astronomical. Loeb calculated the object was glowing with a continuous output of 10 gigawatts. To put that in perspective, that's the energy equivalent of 10 full-scale nuclear power plants running at maximum capacity here on Earth. This isn't a faint flicker, it's a colossal beacon of energy in the cold darkness of space. This single fact completely flips the script. If it's making its own light, then the initial size estimates were all wrong. The original model, based on reflected sunlight, suggested 3i Atlas was enormous, maybe 12 miles across, twice the size of the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. An object that big is incredibly rare, but if it has an internal reactor, Loeb's calculations suggest the object itself could be tiny, perhaps smaller than 300 feet across. A small object producing that much energy is, scientifically speaking, unheard of in nature. It defies our understanding of physics. We simply don't know of any natural process that allows a 100-meter rock to generate the power of a small nation. The mystery only deepens from here, but its impossible energy source wasn't the only secret it was hiding. A path of purpose. When an object travels for millions or even billions of years between the stars, you'd expect its path to be random. It should come in at any old angle from any direction. But 3i Atlas is different. Its trajectory is suspiciously neat. 
The thing is, it's traveling within the ecliptic plane, the flat, pancake-like disk where all the planets in our solar system orbit. The odds of a random interstellar object lining up so perfectly with our planetary plane are incredibly low, something like a 1 in 500 chance. It's like throwing a dart from across a football field and having it land perfectly flat on the 50-yard line. It's possible, sure, but it's eyebrow-raisingly precise. But the coincidences don't stop there. The path of 3i Atlas seems almost like a guided tour of our solar system. After swinging by the sun, its trajectory is set to take it remarkably close to several key planets. On October 3rd, 2025, it will have a blind date with Mars, passing within 18 million miles. This is close enough for the high-rise camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter to get our best images yet. Then it continues on its journey, set for a close approach with Jupiter. Avi Loeb describes this trajectory as fine-tuned and deliberate. He raises a chilling possibility. What if this path wasn't an accident? What if the object is mapping our system, observing our planets, or even deploying smaller probes? The idea sounds like science fiction, but the orbital mechanics are hard to ignore. This is where the story gets even stranger. The James Webb Space Telescope made another bizarre discovery. The gas cloud around 3i Atlas is made almost entirely of carbon dioxide with very little water. For a normal comet, this ratio is paradoxical. This unusual chemistry, combined with the lack of a water vapor tail, adds yet another layer to the mystery. Some scientists argue this just means it formed in a very different kind of star system. But Loeb offers a more provocative explanation. What if the object isn't a comet at all, but a spacecraft, and the glow is its nuclear engine burning off a thin layer of interstellar dust and grime that has accumulated over its long journey? The CO2 could be part of this cosmic dust, not the core composition of the object itself. The evidence is mounting that we're dealing with something far outside our normal experience. So if it isn't natural, what could it possibly be? Breaking down the theories. So what is the truth about 3i Atlas? The scientific community is deeply divided. On one side, you have the majority of astronomers who urge caution. They argue that we are witnessing a natural, albeit very strange, comet. The universe is a big place, and we shouldn't be surprised to find objects from other star systems that don't conform to our local rules. They suggest the weird glow could be from exotic ices we haven't seen before, or the unusual composition is just a sign of its alien origins. They say calling it an alien probe is jumping to conclusions without enough evidence. To them, it's an exciting puzzle, but one that likely has a natural explanation waiting to be discovered. They correctly point out that extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. On the other side is Avi Loeb, leading a smaller but vocal group of scientists who believe we must consider the alternative. He argues that clinging to the comet explanation is like seeing a car and insisting it must be a funny-shaped horse because that's all you've ever seen before. The list of anomalies is just too long to ignore. The internal power source, the precise trajectory, the lack of a cometary tail, the strange chemical signature. Loeb isn't saying it's definitely an alien spacecraft. What he is saying is that the possibility is high enough that we have to take it seriously. He created something called the Loeb Scale to rank interstellar objects, and he currently places 3i Atlas at a 4 out of 10. Not a certainty, but a significant possibility of being artificial. The thing is, we're at a fascinating moment in history. Are we missing a key detail that will suddenly make everything click into place as a natural phenomenon? Or are we in the middle of a slow motion revelation, the first inkling that we are not alone? The truth is, we don't know yet, but the upcoming close pass with Mars could be the moment of truth.
the high-resolution images from the high-rise camera might finally be able to separate the object from its glow and tell us its true size and shape. Will we see a jagged, irregular space rock? Or will we see something manufactured? It's a question that hangs over all of us. As we look up at the stars, wondering what's out there, the answer might just be looking back. A message in our DNA. Let's push the boundaries even further. We've been looking for radio signals, for messages carved into asteroids, for some kind of cosmic hello. But what if we've been thinking about it all wrong? What if an advanced civilization isn't interested in talking? The thing is, what if they're interested in building? This leads to one of the most incredible and unsettling theories about 3i Atlas. What if that 10 gigawatt power source isn't an engine for moving the object, but a factory for making something? This is where Avi Loeb issues a profound warning. We could be misinterpreting a biological event as a physical one. The theory suggests 3i Atlas is a panspermia probe, a cosmic seed ship. You see, for decades, scientists have kicked around the idea of panspermia the concept that life on Earth may have originated from microorganisms that drifted here from space, perhaps on a comet or asteroid. But this new theory takes it a giant leap forward. This wouldn't be accidental, it would be directed panspermia. An ancient, hyper-advanced civilization could have built fleets of these automated probes, Cosmic gardeners designed to travel the galaxy and seed promising worlds with the building blocks of life. That impossible glow? It might not be heat and light from a nuclear reactor, but the bioluminescence and energy signature of a massive biological manufacturing process. The probe could be using its power source to assemble complex amino acids, proteins, or even self-replicating nanites from the simple atoms it collects in interstellar space. The strange carbon dioxide-rich cloud might not be dust. It could be the nutrient medium or waste product of this process. Loeb warns that we need to be careful what we wish for. If this theory is true, 3i Atlas isn't just a visitor, it's a delivery system. It's carefully planned trajectory through our solar system, passing by multiple planets, suddenly makes terrifying sense. It could be releasing clouds of these engineered microscopic organisms designed to thrive in a variety of environments, from the thin atmosphere of Mars to the oceans of a moon like Europa and even here on Earth. But not all things are what they seem. Many people get excited about the idea of discovering alien life. But Loeb's warning is stark. This wouldn't be a discovery. It would be an arrival. An engineered organism from another biosphere could be totally incompatible with our own. It could be an invasive species on a planetary scale, a microscopic competitor that our native biology has no defense against. It could rewrite our planet's ecosystem from the ground up, not with malice, but simply by being more efficient. We're looking for little green men, but the real alien invasion might be happening at a level we can't even see. What if it's not seeding life, but programmed to end it? Triggering the Great Filter There's a dark and chilling concept in cosmology known as the Great Filter. It's the idea that there's some kind of barrier or challenge that prevents civilizations from becoming interstellar. Maybe it's nuclear war or climate change or something we can't even imagine. But a terrifying new theory, amplified by Avi Loeb's warnings, suggests the filter isn't something we do to ourselves. It's a test that comes to us from the outside, and we may have just failed it. This theory reframes 3i Atlas not as a scout or a gardener, but as a sentinel, a cosmic tripwire, a doomsday machine. And the thing that set it off? U.S. Think about it like this. For millions of years, this object drifted silently through space, dormant and dark. 
Then it enters our solar system and suddenly flares to life, glowing with the power of 10 nuclear reactors. Why now? The chilling answer might be that it detected us. It registered the radio waves from our planet, the heat signature of our cities, or maybe even the light from our telescopes observing it. In this scenario, the object is a berserker probe, a concept from science fiction that has gained traction among some thinkers. It's an autonomous weapon designed by a long-dead civilization to seek out and eliminate any potential competitors. Its programming is simple. Find emerging technological life and snuff it out before it can become a threat. This completely changes the meaning of everything we've seen. The glow isn't an engine, it's a weapon system powering up. And the fragmentation, the way the object started breaking apart as it got closer, wasn't a natural decay. It was a planned deployment. Loeb warns that we may have made a catastrophic error in assuming this was a passive object. By studying it, by shining our light on it, we may have triggered its final protocol. The pieces breaking off from the main body aren't just debris, they are independently targeted projectiles. The deliberate trajectory towards Mars and Jupiter now looks less like a survey and more like a strategic move to get better targeting angles on the entire inner solar system. Is 3i Atlas a messenger from another civilization or just the strangest rock we've ever seen? What do you think is really going on? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Cosmic Mysteries.